to be honest, they're really putting the best skin in the game on the worst guns in the game right now. And I'd really like to see a skin maybe for like the AK-117, the Type 25, the MSMC, where it's a nice skin on a good rifle or a good submachine gun. Because really, we're getting all the best skins and the worst guns right now. What is going on you guys? It's your boy Ferg here back again with another Call of Duty mobile video and this is actually on my highlights channel. I got the brand new Razorback skin yesterday but I wasn't going to upload a video of it onto my main channel just because I had a video already scheduled so I thought you know what I might as well upload a video of it onto my highlights channel. So here you are as you can see this is my class. Yeah, I don't know man the Razorback not really one of my favorite guns in my opinion it's probably one of the most average or worst um, submachine guns inside of the game but either way we're gonna hop into a couple of matches I'm gonna show you guys the skin I'm gonna use the gun and I'm gonna give you guys another opinion on whether or not I like this gun after I've used it however in ranked this gun's trash don't use this gun in ranked in public matches I'm still 50 50 we'll see after this video what I think about it but in ranked definitely don't use this gun without any further ado make sure to like comment and subscribe and let's get into this all right, so we are into our first game here using the brand new Razorback skin. Of course, it is the Dark Matter skin. Like I was saying before in the intro, this gun is kind of bad um, in ranked. As soon as it came out, I got it. I got it in like the first 10 crates. I'll put a clip in the video right now of when I got it. Um, but to be honest, it's not that good of a gun for ranked. I just, it just doesn't shoot fast enough. It's just not a good submachine gun. It feels more like it's an assault rifle rather than it being a submachine gun. I mean, a, a good submachine gun, obviously, would be the MSMC. In my opinion, it's probably the best submachine gun inside of the game when it comes to, like, close-range combat. But this, I mean, it should slow, so the fire rate's really bad. It's also, damage is kind of lackluster, to be honest, especially close-range, considering it's an SMG. Um, it's very slow damage up close. Oh. Where is he? He's around that corner. This guy's just camping here. <laughs> He's just camping there in a public game. Alright, we got a quick quad kill right there. Obviously, it's a little bit better long range than a lot of SMGs, but like I said before, if you're looking for an actual SMG that's going to perform like an SMG, this is not the one that you want to be using. You're going to be wanting to use an AKS or an MSMC. This gun is just not it, Chief. I mean, it's fun to use in public matches, of course, which is exactly what I'm using it in. But in ranked, no chance. Also, I'm going to be moving um, continents and countries sometime in the next couple of weeks. So, I'll probably like pre-plan and pre-schedule videos for that. Hopefully, I get number one before I move. Um, so that when I come back, I'm not that far behind everyone. Or not when I come back. When I actually get there, I'm not that far behind everyone. I should probably be away or be like out of action for maybe like a day or two. And um, while I get everything set up in the new house. It'll be a temporary house until I get to my more permanent residence, which will be on the other side of America. But we're gonna be living, well, I'm gonna be living in LA for a little bit. That's unfortunate right there. And then after about two months, I will be moving to a separate state inside of the United States of America. If you guys don't know, I actually live in Northern Ireland. I've lived here my whole life. I've lived in the same house my whole life. So it's gonna be a big change and moving to a whole other continent, a whole other country. Nice, first half is down, but it's gonna be exciting. I'm super excited for it. I'm actually moving with the organization that I signed with and they're gonna be handling everything like my visa, et cetera, et cetera. Because if you guys don't know, I can't get into the US unless I have like a, a certain special type of visa. So they're gonna be helping with that and gonna be able to um, basically move into like a, like a content house kind of thing. It's gonna be pretty interesting, honestly. I'm gonna be moving in with some other content creators, obviously can't tell you who they are because I don't even know who they are yet. That's why I'm going to be living in LA for a bit until we find what the other content creators are going to be or who they are. Uh, that guy's obviously camping there. But yeah, it's going to be really, really exciting. And I'm really actually hyped for it, dude, because I'll be able to do maybe a little bit of vlogging here or there. I might make another channel just for kind of like vlog stuff. Maybe upload it onto like once a week. That guy's right there. He'll kill me if I peek him, so we got to wait. Good stuff. Oh, there's a hostile VTOL. Did I just hear that right? Yep, I did hear that right. This guy got a VTOL against me in a public match. That 
can't even call him my sparrow. There we go. We're good. That's crazy. This guy got a VTOL against me in a public game. Oh, as you can see, my iPad's kind of broken as well. Sometimes it doesn't let me, like, stop my sprint and all that kind of stuff. But, yeah, getting back on topic, I'm actually super excited to, um... To be moving into like a house where I can create content and stuff, so my streams will actually raise in quality quite dramatically, and um, because I'll be able to do more scenes and stuff. So if I'm like walking around the room or whatever, I'll be able to change camera angles. I have, and um, I believe I have one, two, I have four different cameras that I can use, and obviously with the bigger room, that will mean that I can just I can just develop my streaming thing a lot more than what it is currently at. I mean, my streams are still pretty high quality, especially for the size that I'm at. Um, but I obviously want to get... Oh my gosh, my iPad is so broken. I actually really want to um, to improve them, of course. And then I'm going to be buying like green screens, all of that kind of stuff. So there's going to be a lot of improvements there. I'm not sure exactly how it's going to affect my video content. Probably be pretty similar to what it is now. Obviously a little bit higher quality, considering I will have more stuff and more resources, more room inside of my... Uh, living area and stuff because if you guys don't know I actually upload and record videos and um, inside of My storage room in my house. This is literally I just this is a storage room that I am currently recording in. you can't see the storage because I have my angle or my camera angled in a situation where you can only see the cleanest part of the room, which is literally this oh, wall with a with a uh, window at the back But uh, either way we'll hop into another game with this razor bag like I'm saying this razor bags kind of I mean eh. Like, what is it? Like, eh, the skin is great, but the the gun, eh, whatever. I'll see you guys in just a second, though. All right, so we are into game number two here. I'm going to get a nook this game with the Razorback, show you guys what it's actually about. But to be honest, they're really putting the best skin in the game on the worst guns in the game right now. And I'd really like to see a skin maybe for, like, the AK-117, the Type 25, the MSMC, where it's a nice skin on a good rifle or a good submachine gun because really we're getting all the best skins and the worst guns right now and i'm not gonna lie it's not making me happy i want to see some good skins for some other guns i don't want to see the dark matter skin for a submachine gun that is called the razor bag like it's literally a pdw see that guy 50 assist love that I'm getting a lot more assists recently. Feels bad. Either way. <laughs> I'm glad I'm able to make this video for you guys because I'm actually able to just talk about everything that's going on in my life. We were talking about obviously my org and going over to LA for a bit. So I'll be um not be able to upload for a while. I say that, it'll be like a day. And I'll be right back grinding number one again. <laughs> so it's really no time at all. But everyone's always asking me about like when I'm moving, all that kind of stuff. It'll probably be within the next couple of weeks. And then I'll announce what org I'm in in the next couple of weeks as well. Nice kill right there. Reload it. Call an UAV. They called an UAV, so let's shoot that down really quick. Nicely done. See that guy? Nice, he's dead as well. I can rotate around this side. Hold up. There's also not going to be like much editing on this video, of course, just because um, it's just me kind of sitting down and talking. I don't really feel like it should have a lot of editing editing on it. Just me talking about the gun and then talking about life, to be honest. Bro, you have got to be kidding me, ladies and gentlemen. Are you serious? I guess I'm going to have to really push for this nook then. I'm going to have to really go hard for it. Hold up. Put the country UAV up. Remember, it's 20 kills without using a sparrow or anything now. Kill that guy. Push in here. I got a stealth chopper. Are you serious? Dude, this guy must be for real camping. He is, bro. He's just chilling here camping. What a goofy little goofer. Okay. Pull my UAV real quick. Unfortunately, I can't. Actually, I probably could shoot down this stealth chopper, not gonna lie. I just go out like this. Oh, my teammate got it anyway. Feels good. Use our fire really quick. Use it all up so that I don't need to use it to get kills. I can just use my razor back. Okay, there's a guy killed right there. Is he up top or down low? He's up top. Get that kill as well. Turn around. No, there's a guy spawning here. I can probably kill him from the behind. Oh, turn around, please. Turn around. Thank you. Alrighty. There's a guy right here. That guy's lasering me across the map. He's pretty weak though. I want to challenge these guys because they're all spawning up here. Oh, that guy's using an Arctic 50. That's not cool. I don't want to die to that. No thanks. I'm good. 
See that guy? I see that guy too. Nice. Nice. Okay, that's the end of round number one. We're on kind of a little bit of a streak right here. I'd say we're probably on like a six or a seven. I think I can get 13 kills in one half pretty easily. So let's try and get this nick real quick. But yeah, something I'm super excited for is starting off the new year, the new decade on a different continent. I just feel like it's going to be really good. I'll obviously have better Wi-Fi. If you guys don't know, my streams cut out all the time when I'm live streaming because my Wi-Fi just stops working randomly. The guy's using an Arctic 50. Uh-oh, please don't kill me with the Arctic 50. Okay, we're good. I actually thought I was going to die there at some point, not going to lie. Okay, I'll just those chopper is in the air. That's annoying. There's really not much we can do. Predator missile is also there as well. I think something that we could do is put a trophy system right here. In case somebody tries to explode me. I don't want to stand out here because we've obviously got that stealth chopper that's still in the air. Nobody's able to shoot it down right now, so... Nice. Got a VTOL real quick. I hear him. Oh my gosh. These goofy little goobers are just letting me run right through them. Fortunately, no. I think we're going to have to rotate around and see if we can get them off B. That might hit them. I'm not sure. Oh, yes, we got them off. Nice. Got a UAV as well. It's a guy right here. Nicely done. We got the nick. Great. I'm gonna call that in right now before people in the comments section get really mad that I <laughs> didn't call it in. <laughs> but I'm super excited for the uh, move, of course. And I actually want to start like doing in real life content while I move because there'll be much more for me to do outside of just gaming and stuff. I'll not take it'll not take away any of the time from me gaming. It will just take away time from my free time. I always like to keep myself occupied. And when I was a kid, I never kept myself occupied with anything other than gaming. But I like to do stuff nowadays. I'm not as lazy as what I used to be. Hold up calling that kind of UAV really quick. I don't see anyone. But yeah, this gun is literally... It's not that good at all, bro. It really isn't that good. Like, it's good for public matches, but public matches are easy, you know? Like, playing these public matches are super... I don't know if it's just me. It could just be, like... Because I am fairly experienced in the in this game and in this genre of, of um, shooter games. But public matches just seem so easy to use any gun, whereas ranked you really get a feel for how good the gun is and i used this gun in ranked pro and it was awful i literally used it in ranked and it was super bad i really didn't enjoy myself but either way we're gonna wrap up this game here absolutely dominated these guys of course dropping a nuke I'll have a ranked nuke gameplay coming out tomorrow as well that will be pretty lit too that will obviously be edited and um, a little bit better than this this is just me sitting down talking with you guys about what my plans are for the future obviously with moving uh, starting a TikTok, wanting to start a vlog channel. If you have any questions about it, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below as well. I'll try and answer some of your questions if they're good ones. Oh, nice. Well played, and that's outside of the VTOL. We're chilling. The game's about to wrap up anyway. I'm just going to RPG that guy really quickly. Um, is he still up there on the back? He might be. Bro, how many stealth choppers do these guys have? Damn, I died right there at the end. But that is going to wrap up this video ladies and gentlemen if you did enjoy make sure to leave a like let me know what you think about me jo or, uh, joining tiktok making a vlog channel uploading more irl content i'll still be streaming every day and going for that number one spot hoping to get it sometime soon at the time of recording this video i'm like sixth i think but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a like comment down below all that good stuff and without further ado let's roll the outro bye